Good morning to all of you. Uh, the dignitaries present on the dais, Sanjay, my colleague, and uh, ladies, gentlemen, and above all, the students who have come to participate in this hackathon. So, for the last couple of weeks, uh, uh, I'll, uh, I've been uh, participating in a, uh, one of the conferences on e-commerce. And one of the basic threads which they have said that e-commerce has not really taken up rooms in India is because of mainly because of security concerns. Though there are a couple of things which drive e-commerce, of course the uh, technological backbone or the technological uh, uh, expertise available in the country or uh, we are uh, that way blessed. We are doing it for other countries, but for our country, maybe for e-commerce is at a very uh, nascent stage. Uh, why do I say this? And uh, the data says there is only one country in the, uh, on the planet today which sells more goods on e-commerce platforms than on, the, on a mom and uh, pop uh, stores. So it's like, uh, uh, it, and the, the right country today is that is uh, China. And the kind of uh, the e-commerce uh, uh, thing they have is humongous. And we, per capita wise, if we just see, we are below uh, Mongolia and Vietnam. This might not look, uh, this might hurt our pride, but that is the kind of thing. The basic thing we are not taking up to e-commerce is, as a citizen, if I see, is somewhere at the back of our mind, we are not sure whether we, if we are using our e-commerce, if we are using our cards, or debit cards, or credit cards, something, something will go wrong or not. Cyber security has a very a great uh, role uh, to play to address that concern. And uh, with this thought, I'll just, uh, just to keep uh, uh, things in perspective, uh, the couple of, uh, there is a, uh, the kind of uh, industries which drive, uh, which the cyber security, good cyber security infrastructure can drive, is uh, the potential is is unimaginable. Why I'm saying that I just uh, quoted this, this the China, the kind of uh, e-commerce they have, they are more than the total GDP, national GDP of India. So. It is not that networks in uh, is not available in our uh, villages, or the main concern is that the confidence of the customers. That we, I think, uh, with uh, you people around, will build that kind of ecosystem where a, where a common man finds it, it's safe and easier to transact on net. And that's a big challenge. It's not only the technological part; it's also the psychological part which needs to be addressed. So with the uh, with this uh, thought, uh, I'm leaving uh, uh, you this uh, this thought, uh, which I want you to kind of think about this, that the kind of the convenience it brings, e-commerce, but why we are not adopting it? The basic reason being the cyber security infrastructure, and I am really happy that uh, that uh, the effort is being made. Uh, is being driven by Mr. Kusmakar and uh, especially Mr. Sanjay. There, this Kusmakar is uh, Chief Information Security Officer of the state, and Sanjay also State Information Security of the state. They need to. This is a very important thing. Like if you say in any kind of uh, for any economy, law and order is very important to drive economy. Similarly, for net, if you want e-commerce to be a uh, thrive and be available, the, the security aspect needs to be taken, uh, tackled first. And with these thoughts, I think I'll, uh, uh, I'll leave you with, uh, uh, you must carry this uh, thought home. That's what my, especially the students, that this, if we can bring, uh, build that uh, infrastructure, that's, uh, that confidence, not only the technical part, the psychological part, we have a, a great uh, headroom to grow there. With these thoughts, I'll, I think I'll close my address. And Sanjay, thank you for giving me this opportunity. Thank you very much, Mr. Singh Gupta and others. Thank you.